so hey guys welcome to the new video today in this video we are going to see that how can you deploy your flask app very easily on a python anywhere server okay so firstly we will be needing a github repository which you want to deploy okay so i will be picking up this particular repository copy the link and now let's open python anywhere and sign up for that anywhere firstly you need to sign up here just click this button start running python online in less than a minute and create a beginner account here you have to sign up uh, via email and password so i will be signing up in a minute so i have successfully signed up now what we have to do is just click on this uh, consoles button and go in your bash now what we have to do is creating our firstly virtual environment and then installing all the dependencies out there firstly we will be doing these two things okay so what we have to type here this is your bash you have to type mk virtual env virtual env and then name your env like i will name as venv and space then double hyphen python equals python 3.10 okay but before doing that we can do one more thing firstly go in our web and create a new web app then simply click next select flask here and then this python 3.10 okay then next this will take some seconds So we are almost done. Now go back in your consoles, and then again bash. Now you can start executing your particular command, which we will be, which will be creating your virtual environment. I guess, okay. Much uh, my virtual environment. mk virtual env make virtual in environment and then venv then hyphen hyphen python equals python 3.10 this will take a few seconds okay so our virtual environment is successfully active now what we have to do is git clone and clone your repository here okay just a second i need to copy that link again git clone and then paste this okay so now we have to install all the requirements which will be needed and needed in our flask project then what we have to do is pip install greater than sign and then requirements dot txt you need to make sure that in your uh, folder there must be a file named as requirements dot txt and then hit enter you can get this file just by uh, writing a command named as okay let me show you the command which you need to type your in your fl uh, flash directory to get this particular file okay so the command was pip freeze frwz 
एफ आर डबल ई रेडी ड्रेन साइन एंड रिक्वायरमेंट्स डॉट टी एक्स जी रिक्वायरमेंट्स डॉट टी एक्स जी यू जस्ट हैव टू टाइप दिस कमांड इन योर टर्मिनल वे आर योर फ्लास्क प्रोजेक्ट इज स्टोर्ड देन यू विल गेट दिस पर्टिकुलर फाइल ओके सॉरी आई हैव टाइप द रॉन्ग सिंटेक्स हेयर वोट यू हैव टू टाइप इज पिप इंस्टॉल हाई फेन आर एंड देन रिक्वायरमेंट्स डॉट टी एक्स जी ओके जस्ट अ सेकेंड यू नीड टू मेक श्योर दैट यू आर इन साइड योर यू कैन सी फोल्डर बिकॉज आई वॉज नॉट इन माई फोल्डर सो फर्स्टली वॉट वी नीड टू डू इज सी डी एंड देन दिस एप नीम नाउ यू हैव टू टाइप दिस कमांड दिस पर्टिकुलर कमांड सो या आवर पैकेजेज आर गेटिंग इंस्टॉल्ड so we are almost done now click on this and go back in your web now what we have to do is we have to locate the source code here for that we need to go in our files tab go back in your web again and paste that here click on check and you will need to enter this virtual environment path too for that go in files and then virtual envs v env and then copy this go in your web again and then paste your link here so we are just one step away from our deployment what we have to do is we have to set up our wsgi configuration file for that click here and paste your uh, path here for uh, you can say uh, for our basic flask app which we have just pasted here you can just simply copy this and paste your path here instead of this just remove it and save it and here you also need to rename your app because in my directory my app name was app.py and inside this i have an instance named as app so you need to make sure that uh, you have imported it correctly from app that means this file i have to import app this instance as application you need to make sure that you are doing it correctly okay then save this then just go back we are almost done now reload our app uh, reload our website this may take some seconds so okay we are done you can see our app is now deployed in uh, guys that's all for this video now let's see you next time